Let's see if this Nissan will race us. This guy says I will win. Okay, man. Let's see about that. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Greenville video for you today on the channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today's video is going to be pretty cool. You guys have been hearing about a lot of updates recently for a lot of different games. Greenville is no exception. As you may have heard, they've added an entirely new class of vehicle to their collection. And today, ladies and gentlemen, you guys probably know me. I love some of these classic cars and I really want to see what they're like so without further ado let's take one of my favorite vehicles this is not a classic necessarily but let's take the Bugatti to the dealership and let's go for a little bit of a shopping spree let's see if there's any cars that interest us I haven't played Greenville in what feels like a very long time I know it's only been like three weeks but it feels like we really haven't gotten a chance to enjoy this game for a long time so hopefully today guys we can go ahead and just play this game again I want to get back into the swing of things as you remember from the last video we actually stole this car back from the police and uh, it kind of went not so good fingers crossed that for once the police aren't going to bug me because it seems to happen every single time where whenever we play Greenville police always get involved oh my god that poor Lamborghini is he okay uh, dude Okay, he's good. He's fine. He's fine. He's out of here. Okay. <laughs> but either way, guys, here we are over at the dealership. There's a school bus. Hold on a sec. When were you able to get school buses in this game? Okay. Also, that guy's got a really nice pickup truck. Dang. Yo, these cars, are these all new? What is this one? What the heck? I've never seen that car before. All right, anyways, let's go ahead and pull in here in the Bugatti and uh, let me go park here. Somebody just came up with an Uricon. What a beautiful looking vehicle. Uh, let's see if he'll wait and say something here. I actually really like the Uricon in white. Oh, nah, he's just doing his own thing. Okay, anyways, let's head over here and see what classics are in the game now. So taking a look here, guys, there is quite a few, and I will tell you really quickly what a couple of my favorites are. The Mustang is, of course, one of my favorites. I mean, come on, it is just an amazing vehicle, guys. 1965. Ford Mustang GT. We also have, of course, the good old Dodge Charger. What an absolutely beautiful vehicle, guys. You guys can get this in black, which I would personally recommend if you decide to buy this. But if you guys knew me well, you would probably know I'm going to go with the Mustang. I love the Mustang. I actually own a white GT. which I will be doing videos with very soon. Um, so definitely look forward to that. But this is the car I'm going with. This is it in white. I think it looks just perfect in white. And unfortunately, you do need a classic car pass to get it. So let's go ahead and buy that really quickly. So yeah, like I said, you need to spend 75 Robux to get this little classic car pass. So it's not very expensive or anything. Pretty affordable. Let's go ahead and get this Mustang now. And uh, dude, oh wait, no, I forgot to get it in white. I've never had to change the color of my vehicle. I bought it in the wrong color. It's not bad in red though. You know what? That's fine. We'll just roll with the red. It looks so good, dude. A couple of people are looking at it. This guy's looking at it right now. Man, oh man, this thing looks nice. That's the thing about Greenville, isn't it? Like they always make the cars look so good. Let's put it in sport mode and let's take this thing for a little bit of a cruise today, shall we? You can turn the headlights on as well, which look really, really cool. Of course, the taillights are definitely one of my favorite parts. Uh, but yeah, dude, this thing is pretty fast. Actually, let's keep it in drive just for a bit. I think we might be able to put it in sport later, but for now, just regular drive is good for me. Look at all these classics. This guy's got a classic too. Dang, nice. Okay. So what we're going to do now is actually just pull into this Best Buy over here. I need to go ahead and see what's going on. Apparently a lot of people are talking about stuff in Best Buy. So let's go pull over here. There's a lot of cars in this area. And I think we saw this car earlier. So we might actually just go pull up with him. There's a lot of cars. Prius, Dodge. We even have a BRZ slash FRS, a Miata. Yo, there is a lot of cars here. Cool. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pull up next to this classic, though. And uh, then we're going to hop into Best Buy. I think they're open now. It's almost 11 a.m. All right, let's pull the handbrake. We're just going to leave the Mustang there. It looks so good next to that other car. Anyways, 
Let's head into Best Buy and see what's going on here. Are they open? Uh, yeah, okay, they're open. Nice. So I actually want to get a new television and this one looks perfect. Let's go ahead and see if we can get this on order. Let's see if there's anybody here. Uh, okay, so it doesn't even look like anybody is here right now. Um, hello? Okay, this place seems completely empty. Maybe we should save this for later. Anyways, let's head back to the car. There's a guy out here now. He says, piece of junk classic. Hold on a second. Are you the owner of that blue car? Wait a minute. Um, he says, yeah, nothing classy about this piece of tin. I own this Mustang. Because he's asking me who I am. I own this Mustang. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. So I told him there's not a lot of classic owners here. So it's nice to meet you. He says, I feel sorry for you. Why? Why do you feel sorry for me, dude? He says, not nice to meet you. Um, okay. Dude, wait, what? Who is this dude? He says, just look at it. Uh, oh God, not this again, man. Are you kidding me? What is with the toxic players on this game, man? He says, it's a crowd killer. Bruh, hold on a minute. Now, if there's one way to insult a classic Mustang owner, it's to call it a crowd killer. This car predates that joke, okay? This car existed before that joke even did, man. He says, and for a classic car, it's not very well classy. I'm just straight up like, what's your issue, man? I mean, like, why can't we just get along here? He says, who says I have an issue? And I said, and I didn't say anything about your slow overpriced classic. I'm just gonna sneak a little this in there. He says, well then get a better car. He says, that's because my car is nice. I said, nice? Well, maybe. Fast? Definitely not. Let's see what he says here. There's a bunch of people here. Hold on a second. Can you settle something for us? Who has the nicer classic? Who has the nicer classic? Somebody please help us with this one. Yours is just, oh my God, I think he swore. Yours is just an engine blank to a brick. What? Uh, let's see, who has the nicer classic? You guys need to tell us who you think has a nicer one. He says, I'll pay you to say mine because mine is nice. Why y'all fighting about your cars? <laughs> Hold on, let's just pull this random guy and say, so which one is nice? The red one is faster. Thank you, that's what I'm saying, dude. The red one is definitely faster. My car is a good speed and drop dead gorgeous. Okay, I definitely got under his skin. Let's see if this guy is down to race because we are actually really close to the airport right now. So we could go ahead and set up a classic car race with this mean classic owner who's just about to run a stoplight. I said, you almost ran that light that's not very good of you I said a simple race will do that's all we need guys is a simple race uh, whoa holy smokes what the heck you know what though I'm genuinely surprised at how fast this thing is I'm I'm very confident it's going to beat this guy in a race let's see if he'll uh, come over here I think we've also attracted an audience as well let's see if these guys will join as well into this race because I feel like this could be a lot of fun uh, we will go into sport mode I actually haven't been in sport mode yet oh whoa okay that was nice that was a pretty nice drift i will say that was pretty nice he said you'd hit a crowd if you drifted all right buddy i said this is gonna settle whose car is better and uh this guy in his japanese tuna car as well let's see if this nissan will race us this guy says i will win okay man let's see about that i said let's see who's gonna win someone count down dude i'm actually really excited about this we're gonna go ahead and rev up okay here we go so he's counting Counting down five, four, three. Here we go, guys. I'm fully, fully revved up. One, go. And off the line, we are off like a rocket. This car is insanely fast. Holy crud, dude. Almost at 120 miles an hour, fully maxing out the speedometer. This thing is definitely faster, dude. There is no competition for the Mustang, man. Holy crud. Let's go, dude. That went so well. This guy <laughs> drove right through me. Oh my god, I think he just swore. What was this? All of it got tagged out. I said, dude, there was no reason to cheat. I had you by buses. This guy said, you'll be riding the bus once the car breaks 
brakes on you. Lol, okay, dude, that was honestly a really good race. I'm surprised that we completely destroyed like that. He's a Mustang driver, aka a sore loser. Guys, who do you think won? Let me know in the comments. What do you think is the better car? I think that this one was absolutely incredible. It did so well in this race. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And if you guys want to see more Greenville, just let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you all in the next video. Video.